Okay, so I glued the sign. First, I glued it with the glue gun, and it got hot and dropped out. So I re-glued it on the back with the Gorilla Glue, and I was hoping it wouldn't, but it expanded inside, and now I hope I can use a razor blade and cut it out without messing it up too bad. So, uh, learn by my mistakes. Also want to show you, got a fish. It's one of those fighting fishes. I need party. <laughs> hey folks, I brought you out here to uh, check out the moon. Let me zoom you in a little bit. And I have to do this fast because it's humid. Oh. I'm sorry, that's about as steady as I can, uh, can make it. Ah. There we go. There's the moon. Okay. Okay, here I go, uh, getting ready to plant the Harlequin flowers. And I got 40 of them, let's see how many I can get in here. Uh, it says 2 to 3 inches apart. They normally say further along, or further apart than what you really need. And I like to plant them a little bit closer. Um, now if I was setting them out in a yard, I would give them a little bit more space like that. But seeing as these are going to be in a pot and I want them to look nice and be thick, and I'll be here to take care of them. There's the kitty again. No, stay out of there. <laughs> That's not for you. Close up of the kitty. It's midnight. Yes, that's midnight. Anyway, what I have here, everything I've looked it up online and everything I've read said that Harlequin bulbs, first of all, do better in zones 9 through 10. And I'm zone 5 here. So they like it warmer, but they like cool conditions to start the bulbs. Now, seeing as it's summertime, and all like that, I'm going to, um, I'm going to put them in the refrigerator. It says, don't let them freeze, but the refrigerator is above freezing. And it's a little bit cooler than what they suggest, which is 60 to 65 degrees. But I'm hoping it'll be okay. I'm going to try this. Anyway, I have something funny to tell you all, too. <laughs> well, it's kind of funny. Yesterday, Albert was uh, burning some something in the kitchen. And I walked in, and I was like, what are you burning? And he said, I just burnt some bank papers with my, uh, my information on it. <laughs> and he said, I said, well, that stinks, you know. And he said... Just think of it as sage. <laughs> I'm saging the kitchen. And I was like, that ain't no sage, that's bank stank. <laughs> anyway. What I'm going to do next, before this, back to my topic. These are supposed to be planted, uh... 
Well, I read one, one thing where it said five inches deep, but on the package it says two to three inches. I know with bulbs you're normally supposed to plant them according to their size, and these are small. So I'm going to plant them two to three inches deep, something like that. And it's real easy, I'm just going to, uh, hang on a second. Let me switch hands. Nope. Get that out of the way. Sorry. I'm just going to take my finger. Since the bulbs are so small, just take my finger, twist it around. And what I have in this dish, I read that these things like a lot of sand with rich dirt. So I mixed, um, it's almost half and half of sand and dirt. I used uh, miracle Grow dirt, and I'm hoping this will be the right soil. So let me uh, do some more holes, and I'll be back with you. All right, I'm back. I've got my camera strap under control this time. And you can see I've put some bulbs down in their holes already. And I've gotten my other holes done. They look close together, and they are. I did them about an uh, inch and a half, two inches apart. And the thing is, now, when you plant the bulbs, be sure to get the root side down. Now bulbs are a little bit uh, pear-shaped. So you want to put the fattest side down normally on these. Not all bulbs are like this. Excuse the noise, Albert's sweeping. But uh, yeah, you just drop them in. Fat side down down in the hole and let me get back to you when he's done sweeping okay so now I've gotten the bulbs all planted and all I have to do now is just cover them over Don't pack it real tight, but just press down firmly. There. Now I'm just going to refrigerate this for... Uh, I'm not sure how long. I'll have to look that up. In, until they start to sprout, at least. Oh, I thought I'd missed one. I still have a lot to go. I had 40 bulbs. I got 16 planted here. But, uh, I think I'll save the left, the, I think I'll save the rest for planting later on. Okay. I'll show how it progresses as I go. Check it out. The rain lilies are blooming. I believe Thomas sent these to us. So thanks, Thomas. But everything's just growing so nice. This has gotten so many flowers on it that I didn't even see. There's a fourth one. It's already gone. Flowers aren't big, but they're pretty. At Bold 3 Detergent Plus Fabrics off. Hey. Hey, y'all. I haven't taken you off for a tour of the backyard. And a lot of stuff, there's Midnight. Hey, Midnight. 
a lot of stuff's done uh, bloomed excuse me while I walk up here oh, watch out kitty must trip me up oh got got one of these wind things a vine's grown up through it now but uh, got it and it rusted up shouldn't have done that oh the four o'clocks Yellow ones aren't open right now. No, they're not four o'clocks. I'm not sure what those are. And over here. Most of them most of them have already bloomed. Here's the plumeria. One of them, I have several. Here's some, and here's one, and it's got a bloom on it, it's getting ready to bloom. Which is pretty cool. Let's see. Oh, and here's more plants that we couldn't fit on the patio. Oh, that's what I'll use. Oh. Anyway, um, excuse me, is this? <coughs> excuse me, it's, uh, geez, Wheaties. Oh, boy. It looks like Sanford and Son in here. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. But yeah, these are all the plants that couldn't fit down on the patio. Because we put furniture down there. Let me wander back through here. There's probably nothing blooming right now. Nothing at all. Oh, go well, down this way. What do we have? Oh, well, we have a little bit of a view there. I can zoom in. I don't want to go down this hill anymore. It's the Rose of Sharon. camera makes it look kind of purple. I mean, pinkish. And they're kind of more towards the purplish side. Um, boy, that's about all to show you. This backyard needs work. Big time. Ooh, hill slippery. And I'm in my slippers, which doesn't help. But this is it. Now let me take you down and show you that Clemone. Clemone, yeah. Cleome. Clemone. I do love these purple flowers. They are so pretty. Oh, I haven't zoomed back out. We will take you all on a wild trip here. There's Miss Miss Tits back there. We say it with love. You're gonna have to move, Kitty. You're right in my path. Cause I'm coming down. Oh. And this neighborhood is like no one lives there. And no one lives over there. Watch out, kitty. Move. Move, kitty. Move. Move. Come on.
Now here's the Cleome. Let me zoom in. What are you doing up there? I'm zooming in on the Cleome. Get your ass back down. See how he talks to me. There it is. That's pretty. Now let me take you down to the front. It's not real smart. You You're on camera. I don't care. <laughs> you know, especially when I don't even know you were up there. Okay. And here's the. Uh, oh, let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. There's the Cleome. From this side, I'm, I'm holding you all the way up there. Skeeter. Okay. There it is. Oh, I need to turn my hibiscus. All the flowers are facing away. Anyway, I'll get to that. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye. Check out that caladium down there. See those shiny things on them? On the leaf? That's just raindrops. Almost looks like diamonds on it. It's pretty. Okay, hi folks. Just going out the door. I want to show you this this tree out here on this stoop of a deck <laughs> that remains. But uh Yeah, I forget the name of this plant. But it gets these cool purple flowers all over it. It's beautiful. And it, it's pretty loaded and there's more coming on. The bees love it. Oh, and the berries. The berries have produced, if you can see, the red flowers on top. Wish I could hold it near, let me hold it in further. Oh, it's too sunny, I can't see what I'm doing. But you get the idea. And then there's our stick plant, we call it. It's a, a pencil plant. Really cool. And then there's a fan palm. Where'd you put the uh, 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 thorn, crown of thorn? No, don't worry about it. You I would just get it from here. It's, oh. It's right there. You oh, see oh. It. Okay. All right, over here, I'm gonna zoom in if I can. It's not blooming anymore, is it though? No. Oh, it's not blooming anymore. Look at our crown of thorns underneath the tree there. Do I got it? There it is. It's huge. It is, it's full too. It loves it right here where it's at. 
deck built back. Yeah. This is all where the deck used to be. Oh, let me zoom back out. Uh, and it's, it's a mess I right now. I wouldn't show them that. Memories. <laughs> Memories. The deck lasted almost 30 years. Yeah, it did. It finally, after 30 years, it gave out. And this deck is is the same age, so uh, I'm nervous about being out here. So I'm going to go back in. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye. You don't want to die of cold, toll free. Hi everyone. I am looking at this bag because this is what Thomas brought us the other night when he stopped by and surprised us with with this bag to recycle. <laughs> no, I am only kidding. Actually, he brought two bags of stuff, but in this bag, he brought us an extendable GoPro selfie stick, uh, and some stuff. I am not sure what this goes to. I'm showing my ignorance of technology here, so I'll have to ask Thomas and... Thomas, if you're watching, please, please tell us what that's for. <laughs> Here it is. Here it is. He brought us an EMF meter. That's so cool. Yeah, I didn't show you all this room the other night. Hold on. It's in so-so shape. But this is, uh, this is kind of like the library, I guess. I love my books. We need to do some work in here yet. There's that window that I did. books and I have more books upstairs that I'm going to uh, be bringing down okay by the magic of television here we are um, he gave us starts and some whole plants of 
African violets. There's these all different types. Yeah, all different types. There's some in here. He uh, brought us a couple of them that we still need to get planted. Um, he brought us a piece of pothos. And some more violets over here. And they're pink and purple and there's a red one and all like that. And we're going to be sending Thomas some stuff in the future here coming up. So, uh, anyway, that's it. Signing off.